And welcome back to another episode of All of Fabric 5. Where in between episodes, there's been some processing happening. Uh, a lot of it has ended up back in here because it has to get crushed twice. Uh, but it got blocked up because I'd left a whole bunch of raw copper in uh, like a block of raw copper form. And uh, it, it went into the macerator and jammed it up. So even though this was chunk loaded, we didn't get through processing everything we could have. But uh, we're starting to build up some materials, which is pretty neat. Yeah, so last episode, we did end up making that macerator. We've still got the coke oven we want to look at doing. Um, there's some other bits and pieces. If we, if we keep looking at the modern industrialization, I got this achievement. Another random reward, a charge pad from industrial revolution. Now this looks like this goes in the box of things I shouldn't have shouldn't have got yet. <laughs> the reward is too advanced. Uh, so yeah, continuing to process this, I think I want to get rid of this setup and have a steam furnace, which if we look at modern industrialization is one of the next quests. It's not the compressor though. We should probably make one of these. Um, let's get one of them. Nothing looks too major there. Um, that's going to enable us to like get plates and paper from sugarcane, apparently. Um, a mixer will help you mix dusts for a cheaper price. Curious, I'm curious about that. Um, and we may as well get the cutting machine for making bolts and stuff. Uh, lubricant might be slightly more difficult to get, but we may as well whip up that machine for a start. And the bronze furnace, yes. This might be the first thing we make. Get some more fire clay bricks going and get one of them. Uh, but we are going to start running into space being an issue. Now we could do the, the somewhat typical Minecraft or modern Minecraft thing of digging a basement and chucking everything under there, but I like creating big structures. Well, I like the idea of big structures. Sometimes creating them is a bit painful. Uh, so I think we're going to expand the house, which we did talk about last episode. I think it's just time to do it. Um, not entirely sure <laughs> what we're going to do. Probably keep similar textures, uh, materials, and try and make something somewhat interesting. Somewhat interesting. Let's uh, let's see how it goes. Time for a time lapse. And it's a house. It is a house. Uh, yeah, I'm not entirely satisfied with how it looks, but uh, it's it's an improvement, and we will keep working on it uh, as we expand. Uh, so things inside are not organized at all. Um, they're over there. And uh, yes, game audio is back. I accidentally so I destroyed my farms. Accidentally managed to record like the last three videos I've released without any game sound, but uh, there is definitely, definitely game sound being recorded right now. Uh, so cool, we've got a whole bunch more room for stuff. Uh, we've got this this area up here, and then we've got this area up here, which is currently, I guess, my very very sparse bedroom. Uh, and yeah, we get a nice view of uh, all of the all of the things happening. Uh, so. I guess the next thing to do is think about organizing all of this a bit better because uh, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a mess we've got a lot of cobblestone in there uh, a bit of a mess and I could start getting a better modern industrialization setup uh, I did process a whole bunch of ores uh, so we've got blocks and blocks of stuff there's a ghost in my house my house is haunted. That's unfortunate. Creepy sounds, creepy sounds. I think the first step is perhaps chest wall to organize some stuff. Uh, and then we'll look at what we're doing with this. Uh, it's got to move away from the door. Or we move the door. That's that's also an option. But uh, maybe we move all of this stuff over here. Might not be bad. Okay. 
much, much tidier. Pickaxe also almost broken. Uh, so I've got some sort of organization going on in some of these chests. Uh, some of it gets a bit random and into junky stuff and whether or not this should all go together, I'm not sure yet, but for now, this will do. This will do. Probably going to be a lot of looking through chests off camera. Uh, and then we got things like our dust chest and our processed dust chest, I don't know, ores, something, cobblestone generator, stuff that's kind of in progress or like used for crafting, I guess. And yeah, whipped up a gold chest. Um, I think we already had an iron chest, which is just a chest with iron ingots around it. And then you can make it a gold chest by putting an iron chest with gold around it. And then you can do diamond as well. But it's like two diamonds in glass. Now, I guess the next thing to do is I want to get like a decent setup. All right, so we got a bit of a tidier setup. It's, it's currently raining, unfortunately. Unfortunately, and... Uh, no, can't sleep, can't sleep. I, I did discover you can, you can walk out these windows when they're open. Which is kind of cool. Kind of cool, and it's it's actually going to be night time soon. I should have waited, and then it wouldn't have to be raining right now. But uh, we got the setup going. A uh, bit of a buffer for water. Um, this thing actually seems pretty smart, whereas, you know, it'll only burn coal, in this case coal dust, if it needs to. Uh, so once all of this is full, it's not like it's just sitting there wasting stuff. And I've kind of tried to, you know, pump steam in and then pump it out of, like out of here, into here. Yeah. And I tried to do the same thing here. So like if you take water out here, essentially I'm just wanting it to automatically refill the ones below it. Like, uh, like some tanks and other mods kind of do, like mechanisms ones I know too, but uh, no mechanism and fabric. So let's do it. Let's get ourselves the steam powered furnace. Um, oh, we got a byproduct from uh, Luke Knight. That's kind of neat. Uh, we'll set up a steam powered furnace, which I think I had here, or the bronze furnace, uh, and some fire clay bricks. Uh, of course. All right. All right. We really need to get the plate press. The compressor, I think, is the thing we need so that we don't require a hammer. And actually, yeah, I do really want that. I'm getting sick of my cameras. Cool. A bronze furnace. Nice. 20 times more fuel efficient. Okay. So if we had that there, uh, do I have any ores I can process? No. None of these are smeltable. Um, do we need to really test it? I probably just need to go do some mining. Yeah, but like if we, we grind up this thing, oh, antimony dust, go. Oh, probably helps. Probably helps if you connect, connect the pipe. Ooh, when it glows as well. Neat. Okay, so what they are bunch of crafting and that does not go in that chest. Do not put that in that chest. Uh, we have all the bits for a couple of machines. I thought I'd just kind of get them out of the way. Uh, otherwise it's going to be, you know, I'm not going to do a bunch of crafting on camera. So this seemed like the best approach. Um, I guess I'll just pull all of this into my inventory and we'll probably get some achievements. Uh, so Oh, well, I thought I had everything I needed. I am mistaken. Uh, let's go for the bronze compressor for a start. Nice. No more hammering plates, which is going to be quite nice. Uh, I'm not quite sure where I want to actually put that yet. And yes, Striker is on and he's got no lag. Uh, he's hosting the server at his house, so that's, that's why I'm on the other side of the world. Um, unfortunately, I have to go to back to work. It's my lunch break, so I'm not going to be hanging around too much longer. Uh, and then we've got a cutting machine. And oh, unfortunately, it wasn't a <laughs> wasn't a uh, one of those advancements. And a mixer, which I think is going to be useful. I guess, yeah. Lots of lots of programming programming jokes. Uh, so. 
We definitely, I don't know which order we want these in. I guess we'll kind of just do, I don't know, plates. This is like bolts and stuff, and this is for mixing dusts. And something like that. Something like that'll be fine. And somewhere. Ah, oh, it's in my inventory. Let me hook up these pipes. And of course they don't automatically connect and that torch is in the way. Nice. And we do that. Of course with a with a little bit of configuration. But I do like that it doesn't automatically connect. Cool. Ah, so now we need a bunch of hoppers, <laughs> a bunch of chests. And that'll be pretty sweet. That'll be pretty sweet. How are we doing on coal's all right? Steam's building back up. Water's doing okay. Neat. Neat. And we have a setup. <laughs> a setup. So yeah, this this will work. It's not amazing looking. You know what? There are too many slimes. There are too many slimes around all the time. They do drop some kind of all right stuff though. Like a potion of leaping. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. But yes, so we've got this sorted. Uh, haven't had to use any yet. It's a little bit close to the staircase. Oh, but I guess it's okay. It's okay. Um, sweet. Well, the only other thing we had on our quest book, well, like saved recipes rather, was the Coke oven, which... I mean, this recipe looks small, well, easy rather, but I think, I'm pretty sure, yeah, if we come down here, oh, we got a quest reward, oh, we got a couple. All right, a salad, oh, I'll keep that, that's not forbidden. That's okay. And a bronze furnace. This is actually the second pair of, of Groucho glasses I've gotten. Yes. Yep. <laughs> cool. I uh, don't really need it, but um, wait. Wait, where did it go? Wait, that was on the, as a chest plate? Oh, equipable in any trinket slot. Oh, okay, okay. Now, well, that's definitely junk. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, completely distracted. Uh, we want to look at what we need for the coke oven. Now, I thought, yeah, there's some there's some more stuff. So aside from just this, we need the 21 coke bricks. A bronze item hatch, which that looks pretty simple. An output hatch, which, yep, pretty simple again. A fluid input hatch, yeah, just the same thing with the tank. And a fluid output, which is the tank on the other side. Cool. Ah, uh, that's all pretty simple. I think the most annoying part is going to be these bronze gears, but hey, we've got this now. Wait up, wait up. Didn't we need for the cutting machine lubricant? And if we wanted to generate some lubricant, we needed the mixer, which we have. Creosote and redstone dust. Right, so I don't think we can do this yet, but we're going to get creosote from our coke oven, so that's kind of cool. Now we have a fluid output hatch so we can store a bunch of creosote. Nice, that won't be too bad. And then we can make a whole bunch of, of coke, coal coke. So uh, we got this, we got that. So we should be able to get a output hatch and input hatch, a item output, item input, and then the coke oven itself. Coca-Cola. Nice. All right. And we get 32 coal for a start. Cool. Uh, I guess I probably should read this. Okay. Sweet. Uh, should be reasonably straightforward. Now, how does this... Oh. Yeah, I probably want to look at how this is assembled. Now, it did say you could hold the wrench to see what was missing. So if we're holding the wrench... Shape invalid. Okay, so kind of, I, I figured it would probably be something like this. Cool. 
Uh, so where do we want this to be? Probably... I'm gonna have to remove some of the windows because it's kind of... Yeah, I think I think cocoa oven over here would be kind of cool. Now, of course, we still need our outputs, which is why we, <laughs> we've got some spare stuff left over. So bronze item output. Um, bronze fluid input. So this will be where the steam goes in. Oh, can I, can I can only go in those sort of areas. Um, now, unfortunately, steam's over here. So we might go underground. And if we do that, can we check them? We can check them there. I think that'll be not a bad spot if we're running stuff underground. So steam will go in to that slot. Now we're going to have the fluid output, which is going to be the creosote. So that's kind of important. Maybe, maybe we'll do something like this. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Uh, we can leave it like that for now. So maybe our fluid output. Maybe it goes, I could go up the top. And um, we're probably going to want to go into tanks. Could store our creosote out the back of the building. That would be kind of cool, actually. I like the idea of that. Uh, actually, but maybe, maybe there. Maybe there. Okay. Yeah, these kind of clash with the... <laughs> Clash with the bricks a little bit. Then we got item input, item output. We could do... Now these have to go on like the sides of the bottom, don't they? And that's kind of... All right. Yes, item input. Item output. I better put the bricks back there. Item output. Shape valid status active. Oh cool, the colors change. That's neat. Um, let's sleep before mobs come inside the house. Cool, so this should be reasonably oh, simple to get going. We chuck some coal in the input hatch. And then we just need to supply steam. Which, yeah, I'm gonna... I think we'll do it underground. Nice. And then connect this here. Cool. And hey, it's away. It is away. And it's actually kind of fast. So recipe base to EU attack. Wait, does this? No, this doesn't make power, right? Recipe current. Oh. Oh, one millibuck of steam is one EU. Okay, well, that makes sense. And then eventually this finishes processing. And we get a cold coke. Nice. Awesome. Uh, that hasn't completed this quest because we need to crush it. Why is there a corrosion? You're corroding my armor. Don't corrode my armor. No, no, no. And then with the last little Connection and adjust it to only extract. Nice. We have creosote happening. Uh, we can't right click on that. Cool. Uh, it definitely adds a little bit of something to the outside of the house. Whether or not it's good, I'm not sure. But it is certainly a thing that is there. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit drafty in here. <laughs> a little bit drafty in here for now. Uh, I could probably move this actually and then, I don't know, put a trapdoor over that. Maybe we'll do that in the future. Um, we also need to work on extracting the, the cold coke itself. But sweet. That's, that's, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. But okay, let's leave it there. We have the coke oven up and running. We've got some of our first basic bronze machine set up. Uh, despite the fact that we can't use the cutting machine although we're now making creosote so once we get the creosote from behind me all the way over to that machine possibly via buckets that'll be away that'll be away and i need to top up that water hmm. anyway it's been classic stuff thanks for watching we'll come back next time and carry on some more all the fabric five